Hi, I'm Tim Smith, the Chief Leaf at the Tea Smith in Omaha, Nebraska. Welcome to the world of teas. Today we're going to be talking about oolong tea. Want to lose 45 pounds fast? Just drink our special oolong weight loss tea and watch the pounds melt away. This has been on the internet and even promoted by famous celebrities. So this must be a wonder tea. Gosh, what else do you need to know about this one? Maybe one thing, those claims aren't really accurate. So what is the buzz about oolong? Kidding aside, this is a very intriguing tea. What type of tea is it? It's often referred to as a partially oxidized tea. That places this somewhere between a green tea and a black tea. Once the leaf is picked and withered, it is rolled a bit to open up the cells so the enzymes in the tea can start to interact with the oxygen in the air and begin the chemical process of oxidation. Taiwan and China are best known for producing oolong teas, but this process can be used on teas wherever they are grown. The best oolongs are produced in small batches under the watchful eye of the tea artisan. They will monitor the tea until it gets to the proper level of oxidation, then over the next several hours, work the tea until it is shaped and dried to achieve the maximum taste from the leaf. Most oolong teas are shaped. It may be a long twisted leaf or a tightly rolled ball and as a result can yield several reinfusion as the leaf opens. For example, Ti Kuan Yen, Iron Goddess of Mercy, the Chinese have all sorts of cool names for their teas, is tightly rolled into a pearl. As the first infusion starts to open the leaves, a second and even a third and a fourth infusion allow the tea to unfurl completely, yielding an interesting flavor each time. Want to play with your food? Take a look at the leaves once they have been used you'll notice a large, usually complete green leaf with some brown around the edges. This is the oxidation. The more the leaf is oxidized, the more it will move from green to brown in color. The flavor profile of oolongs vary widely, from sweet and floral to bold and roasted. So just about any tea drinker can find something to like in an oolong. To summarize, oolongs are partially oxidized teas, they can come from any region, but Taiwan and China are the best known areas. They take multiple steps to make and can be brewed multiple times. Their flavors are wide ranging from green and floral to a more roasted flavor. Remember, it's a big world. Drink it up.